What is up YouTube? This is Hunter Sanders of Sandstorm Gaming coming at you with the first episode of the UCA Football Bears NCAA Football 14 Dynasty. I'm very excited to finally be doing this. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I'm just glad that it's finally happening. Um, to start out, I just want to say thank you and shout out to College Football Revamped for creating this mod. As I'll show later on, um, they've changed lots of things about the game, mainly the uniforms. They've changed lots of the menu layouts, the scoreboard. Uh, I'll post a link in the description below on how you can get it if you're wanting to for your console. Just a little bit about myself. I've been watching football for the longest time. I've been a huge fan. I've been playing these games, um, NCAA football games, since like 2005 when I had a PlayStation 2. Uh, I think it was Reggie Bush on the cover maybe was the first one I got. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing this game for a long time. This specific game I've been playing for a while as well. Um, but this is the first time I've ever been able to showcase my, um, my hobby to anyone. So I'm very excited for that opportunity. So as you can see, I did choose the UCA Bears Dynasty. Uh, it is my alma mater. Uh, it's where I met so many of my best friends, where I met my wife, um, all the grooms of my wedding I met there, including my best man. Um, so I have a lot of special memories with this place and I'm excited to um, just control them and uh, hopefully win some national championships in this game with them. So at head coach, we have Amir Rostampour. Um, Amir, I met in Conway. He, at the time, was the youth pastor at the church that I went to there. Um, and he is actually officiating my wedding. I've known him for a long time. Um, he's a great guy, probably one of the best people I know. And he's possibly the biggest UCA sports fan that I know as well. So I thought he would be perfect for the job here. Looking at the schedule, we're going to start in Fayetteville, Arkansas, playing the Razorbacks, a good in-state rivalry. Uh, then the other non-conference games figured at 19, Minnesota would be a solid game. They have some good offensive players to kind of test our defense. Um, at home against Eastern Michigan, it's kind of just a tune-up before conference play starts. They're pretty bad, so that was kind of like a gimme. Hopefully, I'll say that we're probably going to lose now. And then we actually end the season against another rival, Arkansas State, a little in-state rival. Um, so that should be fun. And then hopefully we're playing in the conference championship game in week 15. So as you can see here, I do have a few rules for myself uh, just to keep it interesting because if I played on the base settings and I didn't put any restrictions, it would get too easy. Uh, so eight minute quarters, we're playing on Heisman difficulty, which is the hardest you can have. Um, I cannot recruit four or five stars, which that should be interesting because those are obviously the best ones, best you get to five star. Uh, I cannot scout the recruits till after they committed, so it's a little bit of a surprise. You know, they may look like they're good, then once they commit and it turns out they suck. Um, I can only redshirt players that are 70, less than 70 overall, actually. And then last one, I have to let players declare for the draft. I can't force them to stay. Um, so again, just trying to be realistic is what most of these rules are for because I just like playing realistically for the most part. So looking at the preseason polls, you can see Clemson is up top, Ohio State, Bama, Georgia, the normal top teams, you know. Scrolling down here, let's see where we rank. Um, probably not very high. Yeah, that's uh, not good. Oh my god. Are we at the bottom? We are second to last, third to last, sorry. Um, so we're almost at the bottom. I mean, we are only 65 overall, and we are a one star school. So that's actually, we're better than the bottom two teams. But yeah, it's going to be a tough uphill battle. If we could finish in the top 100, I'd say that's a success for this year. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now, I did change the Sunbelt a little. I added um, an East and a West division. So there's six teams in each division. We are projected to finish last in the division, which I guess makes sense as we are projected as like the 125th or 124th ranked team in the country and last in the conference as a whole. Now, I'm not going to go over every single player on the roster because that would just be kind of pointless. Um, but I did add some of my friends into the game. So with that being said, let's meet some of the team members. At quarterback, we have Cole Hayes, a sophomore from Dripping Springs, Texas. He's already 75 overall, so he still has lots of room to grow. He has 77 speed, 83 throw power, 81 accuracy, so nothing great, but all around pretty well balanced. Uh, he can run if he needs to, he can throw it deep when he needs to, and I'm excited to see how far he can carry this team. He'll be throwing to RP Upshaw, the best player on the team. 
Upshaw has 91 speed, 84 ball carrying, 86 catch, 83 spectacular catch, and 83 route running. He's a deep threat. He's a short threat. He's a threat to catch the ball anywhere on the field. And then coming in at 6'8", 220 is Calvin Jones. The tallest player on the team is our second best receiver. At 70 overall, nothing great, uh, but he is a very good red zone threat with that height and size. One of the players is going to be toting the rock is Chance Phipps, or CJ for short. Uh, he's pretty balanced as both a runner and a receiver. He doesn't have one stat that he's great in, but pretty well balanced at everything. And he is just 16 overall, but he's only a freshman, so he has plenty of time to grow. Then at left tackle, we have Hunter Mitchell. He actually practices ballerina in secret, doesn't want his teammates to know, but it helps his footwork on the field. And at center, we have Chandler Sloan, who does not practice ballerina, and maybe that's why he's not quite as good as Mitchell. However, he is just a freshman, so lots of time to grow at 67 overall. Jumping over to the defense, we have Parker Wimberly, a linebacker. He's more of a coverage guy, but he has 86 tackling, so he can definitely make a stop when he needs to. And at free safety, we have Tyler Van Booty. He always likes to send memes to cheer the team up, make them laugh. Uh, he can hit hard. He can pick off the ball whenever he needs to. He's a good asset. And at the defensive line, we have Josh Cooper. Uh, just 63 overall, he's one of the lower rated players on the team, but he can still get to the quarterback. And at 75 overall, Melvin Martinez, the kicker, is one of our highest rated players. He's wanting to be a soccer coach, so he's got that form down already for kicking. And finally, a punter, we have Matt Crafton. He's actually our third highest rated player at 77 overall. You know, I'd say we're at a slight disadvantage. Um, 21 overall difference between us, but uh, it's probably no big deal, right? Gonna wear the standard road uniforms right here. Nice little gray helmet, white jersey, purple pants. All right, so you look at their top three players, you know, pretty solid. We'll have to watch out for that defense for sure. And Bergs, I don't know how we're gonna cover him. Um, then you look at our top three players. The receiver, Upshaw is pretty solid. And then a punter is our third best player. Donald W. Reynolds Stadium looking as beautiful as always. I've uh, been there many times. In case I didn't mention earlier, I am a big Razorback fan. Obviously, I love UCA. Uh, I've been watching Arkansas football for my whole life. All right, we won the coin toss. We're going to win the game. That's a good sign for the season. You know, normally I would kick, but I think it's important we establish the tone early on. So we're going to receive. Oh, all right. We're going to return it. Let's go, Jones. Big 6'8 guy. <laughs> Why don't you? Oh, look at this. Good return. Come on. Oh, let's go. Okay, good start to the season right there. 46 yard return by Calvin Jones. All right, first play, we're going to do a little read option. Okay, not bad for the first play, nine-yard gain. We're going to pass it this time, but not going to be a hard pass. Just going to do a screen. Uh, so we have Upshot or Matthews, whichever one just looks more open. Matthews, come on, get a block. Oh, no one blocked for me. Oh, my gosh. Sloan, ooh, I might have to bench you for that one. That was a big whiff. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to audible this pass real quick. Tight end over the middle. Let's go. First down, baby. Chase Dixon. Fake it to Upshaw. Give to Phipps. Oh, nowhere to run. Come on. Upshaw on third down. Big play by Mr. R.P. Third and goal. They already have three carries with Phipps. He's a backup. Uh, no one open. Oh, I can run with it. Oh, touchdown. Let's go. Late hit. Where's the flag? Come on. That's okay. We don't need it. We just scored on our first ever drive. Let's go. And now Mr. Thick Boy Melvin Martinez with the extra point. It's good. All right, let's get a stop here, boys. Come on. I'm going to use a Wimbley. Oh. Ah, dang it. That was my man. Okay, still plenty of time to rebound, boys. Don't worry. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, he's just plowing through us. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Wimbley. Get there. Oh, man. Yeah, that's about how I expected it to go. 
It only took him three plays in 46 seconds. This might be a long day. We're doing a fullback dive here. Not even a bait. Boom. First down. Let's do a little play fake on first down. You know, Jones just might be able to get up and deep. Oh, dang it. Uh, I was looking at Jones the whole time, and I didn't even look at anyone else. I'm going to do a little rollout. Oh, dude, you got to catch that. I have a feeling that our perfect third down conversion rate will not last on this play, but we'll see. Oh, maybe it will. Let's go. Wyatt Hikins. Upshaw again. Oh, that's a first down, baby. All right, third down. We really need a conversion here because I don't think that Martinez can make a field goal. Hey, he keeps it. Oh, no, he pitches. Come on, Phipps. Oh, that's a first down. Let's go. It's probably one of my top five favorite plays in the whole game because X is almost always open. Uh, yep, there he is. Boom. First down. Uh, but I do have to limit myself to you running that play because X is open almost every time. It's kind of a broken play. All right, I'm expecting triangle to maybe be open. Actually, I'm going to audible this. The way their defense is lined up, I kind of want to run against it. Come on, Phipps. Oh, the hurdle. Oh, tackle just short. Oh, man, I thought he was in. All right, so he was tackled short. But we're going to try to punch it in here with Matthews. That's a touchdown. Let's go. Willie Matthews. And I think that was the 17th play of the drive. All right, so last time they scored in just three plays. So I think if we can let, make them score in four plays or more, then that'd be a successful drive. Oh, wow. I did not think that it was going to throw that ball. I just simply was not ready to intercept that, but I was there. Man, I just got to have quicker reflexes. Gonna use your van boot here. Uh, run. Oh, he got it. Dang. Ah, oh, dang. Born. Oh, man, I can't tackle. Oh, come on. Oh, van booty. Oh, my gosh. He had the pick and dropped it. Man, both of us, other than their first drivers, having some long scoring drives here. This is our eighth play. Oh, got it, yep. That was a good break. I thought he was going to cut inside. And that fullback scores on us, dang it. Screen pass, tight end. Oh, block for me. What are you doing? You got a block. We got to get a conversion here. Our defense can't make a stop. Oh, no. All right, so we're rolling out Matthew Crafton to punt for the first time. Oh, look at that roll. Look at that roll. Oh, and that hit. Okay. Oh, good play. Taking a long time. Oh, it's a quarterback draw. Oh, he got the first down. You know, that was a very good play call. I was not expecting that at all. Oh. Going deep. Come on, Wimberly. Oh, we picked it off. Let's go. Let's look at that replay. Oh, nice. Got the feed in. First turnover of the game. Of the season, actually. Uh, probably going to see if we just get a big play before half. Oh, there's a big play right there. Let's go, Dixon. No one open. Um, can I run with it? Oh, I can run with it. Let's go. Oh, I like Jones' matchup on the end there. Oh, actually, no, I don't. Quick throw to Upshaw. Oh, comes back for a good catch. You know, I'm going to try one more play. If it doesn't work, if nothing's open, I'll just throw it away. Oh my god, why didn't I just throw it away? <laughs> oh no. 
You know, it could be a lot worse. Um, tied at halftime, I'm honestly pretty happy with that first half, other than that last interception. Going deep. Almost intercepted again, man. All right, third and nine, we got to get a stop. Check down, and we tackle him. Let's go. Roll out. Oh, got RP. Let's go, Upshaw. First down. Try to spin. Didn't get anything. That's okay. We converted. Pitches outside. Oh, nowhere to run. Send another boomer. Oh, another nice punt. Look at that rolled out at the seven. I mean, he might be our MVP. It's a run play. Oh, I missed so bad on the tackle. That was that was terrible. Oh, I missed again. Oh my god, I gotta retire. I gotta retire after that. I'm into the video now. Goodbye. Same play to the other side, and we stop at that time. We were ready for it. We were ready for it. Another run. Oh, man. No way. No, not again. Come on. Come on, defense. Oh, my gosh. He's averaging like 50 yards of carry on us right now, pretty much. Yeah, we'll return it. Oh, no blocking. Where's the block? Oh, my God. Only down by seven, uh, it's not time to panic. Still got plenty of time. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I did panic a little there. That was bad, that was bad. You call me risky. Uh, we're gonna run a bit of an unusual play here. <laughs> well, that was a risk and it did not pay off. Look at this play right here. The runs that he's supposed to throw it. He has him open. If he, I mean, I, I even lightly tapped it. If he just lobs it, that's a touchdown. Oh my gosh, Traylon Smith is killing us. That's his third touchdown. Yeah, I can run that. Oh my gosh. See, every time I think I can run with Hayes, the hole closes so quickly because the Lions just... How do I put this nicely? Um, suckish? I'm gonna run it again. Come on, Phipps. Oh, good blocking, okay. That's probably our best run play of the game, 14 yards. Oh, got his he threw, but still a great pass. Nice. Tight end over the middle. Okay, nice. Oh, that's stiff arm. Look at that stiff arm. Oh, man. That was nice. Okay, we cannot settle for a field goal here. It's touchdown or bust. Oh, Dixon. All the way to the one. Let's go. All right, we got Phipps in it. Running back. Going to try to do a trick play. Let's see if it works. Oh, throw back to the quarterback. Oh, it's a touchdown. Let's go. Nice trick play. That actually counts as a run, but either way, we are down by only one score once again. He's going to run. Oh, wow, he juked me out so bad. Big hit, though. Man, look at that. 20 first downs compared to just 10 for them, and we're losing. That's pain. No. Oh my gosh. All right, I feel like he's gonna run it like a quarterback keeper here. No, he hands it off. Oh, and we get the stop. That's, no, what? Oh my gosh, I thought we got the stop. Oh, uh, turns the edge and just, man. He is officially the new owner of the UCA Bears. Gosh, four touchdowns. 
Uh, we got to get someone open. Oh, God. oh no! I had someone open and he fumbled. I had Square Gardner wide open on the sideline. Look in. Oh, got up shot. Come on, haul it in. Let's go. We still got a ball game. It's not over yet. And that's intercepted. I try to force it. That's probably going to be the ball game. Yeah, we put in a good effort. Um, just wasn't our game. A couple of bad turnovers in the red zone. Uh, what just happened? Did anyone else just see that? He's over here, and all of a sudden he glitches over there. Okay. They're going to pass it out of goal line. What is this? Oh, my. They're just messing with us at this point. That's just disrespectful. You know, if they pass again, I'm going to be a little triggered. Okay, I'm a little triggered. You know, we didn't win, but for our first game, I felt like it was pretty solid. I mean, lots of things we did. We got 250 pass yards, ran for 100 yards. So obviously the passing game struggled a bit. No touchdowns and three interceptions. That Matthews pick, that was just, that was bad luck. Uh, the other two, I kind of did force, I'll admit. But I feel like he still played pretty well overall. And then obviously in the past game, the only two guys who really did much of anything were Dixon and Upshaw. Justin Hurd led the team in tackles. We did not have any sacks. So we did have the one interception with Parker Wimberly. Downward spiral, it says. Central Arkansas looks for answers after losing to Arkansas. You know, we were ranked almost dead last in the entire country. I feel like there's not anywhere else we can go but up. Um, so I don't know how much of a downward spiral that really is. So first thing, you'll probably notice the audio quality is better. That's because I changed some of the settings. Uh, I cannot change the rest of the video, obviously, because you just watched it or I would have already changed it. But from here on out for the rest of my videos, it should sound a lot better. So I'm sorry that you had to listen to that background noise pretty much the most, the majority of this video. So just real quick, wanted to show you something else that I'm adding to this to make it a little more immersive. So I have a Google Sheet that essentially just has all the stats, the records, the schedule, just everything um, about the dynasty where anyone can view it at any time. So just like real life, you can go to ESPN, look at stats. You can go on here, look at stats just for my dynasty. So I'm gonna have, there's all kinds of different things we'll go over a little more later. Uh, I'm gonna have the schedule here, which I'll update before I actually upload. Um, so whenever you click the link, you'll be able to see it. Gonna have the team leaders, the country's leaders, who wins each conference, the relegation, we'll get into that later. Gonna have the top 25 polls, and then probably the thing I'm most excited about is Hall of Fame, where I'm gonna get to induct uh, maybe one to two players at the end of each season and retire their jersey and just all kinds of fun stuff like that. And like I said, the link for this will be in the description, so you'll be able to view this anytime and really get to just kind of explore for those of you that really like stats. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. I appreciate it, whether you're a friend, family member, um, just uh, someone who's passing by, it means a lot. Uh, I'm very excited to continue making videos in this series. I look forward to seeing this grow and I'm excited to look back and see what I can do better on to make the next video better. So stay tuned for more content and I'll see you next time.